So like I was saying, uh, try to work as closely with the, the locals as possible, but Pittsburgh, being that the winter is coming, there's not a whole lot of options for produce. Uh, but we're still got some root vegetables from Churchview. Um, so we start out with some uh, fingerling potatoes that we'll cryo back and uh, We'll add uh, about 1% salt to this, so. Something like salmon is very approachable, very delicious, um, you know. It's just as, just as good as you make it, you know. So, that's something a little more approachable in this neighborhood. Um, cost effective. Peel off this rib cage a little bit with uh, trying to leave as much of the good meat there as you can. I love working right here. This is my favorite spot in the whole restaurant. Summertime when it was warmer, all the pines were much more vibrant looking, but you know, it's just nice to have a window in a kitchen. So, get all these. Uh, Portioned out here, make sure everything's even. Approximately uh, six ounces or so per portion. You know, this is you know, a big part of consistency, but also uh, making sure we're not wasting money here. It's a big part of uh, stuff that I learned at Big Burrito was you know every every penny counts. You, know, you got to do everything you can to, to not lose money. At the end of every quart of heavy cream. You know, setting that in front of the uh, stove for about 30 seconds to loosen up the last ounce of heavy cream. You know, there's always an ounce left in there somewhere, somehow. So, if you think about, uh, if you use one quart of cream every day, you leave one ounce of cream in that container, seven days a week, 365 days a year, ends up being like $621 about for just, you know, leaving that much product in a quart of heavy cream. All right, so there's several ways to prepare this. I think for, uh, for my preparation, everything's gonna be fairly bite-sized and small. So we have, you know, once the uh, fingerling potatoes, we'll break those down into small rings. So I'm thinking I'll probably break these down into small florets, just so everything is nice and bite-sized. And when we do saute it, everything will be easy to stack. You know, if everything's all different sizes, they'll all cook differently. Whereas, you know, I want everything to cook you know, uniform and evenly so that nothing is mushy, everything is nice and fresh. Base with that brown butter as much as possible. Like I said, this is a dish that we haven't made before, so try and feel it out as we go. 